If you are checking your blood pressure from home you have the choice of choosing your own monitor. You can use either an aneroid monitor or a digital one. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. An aneroid monitor has a dial gauge and your blood pressure is read by a pointer. You inflate the cuff by hand using a rubber bulb. With a digital monitor you can choose a manual cuff or an automatic one. You can read your blood pressure reading on a screen digitally as well. You want to choose the one you are more comfortable using. An aneroid monitor is very portable. The cuff that comes with this monitor also has a stethoscope built into it. The aneroid blood pressure monitors range cheaper in price compared to the digital ones. A downside to this monitor is that it may be too hard for some people to hear as well as too hard to squeeze the bulb. Digital monitors are the more popular blood pressure monitoring devices because they are automatic. Unlike the pointer on an aneroid device, the digital device shows your numbers on a screen. This makes it a lot easier to read. You can even purchase a digital monitor that comes with a paper printout feature. This would make it easier to keep a record of your blood pressure readings. The digital monitor has a gauge as well as a stethoscope. With the digital monitor it has an error code which can be very beneficial and automatic deflation of the cuff. With a digital monitor you have to use batteries and depending on the model you may have to use your left arm. You can purchase a digital monitor anywhere from $30 to $90 and higher. You want to choose a blood pressure monitoring device with a cuff that is the right size for you. The right cuff size will ensure correct blood pressure readings. Ask your doctor if you are unsure of what size you need. Be sure you can easily read and operate the device. If money plays a factor in your decision choose a device that fits your needs as well as your budget. When it comes to your health you have to decide if you can really put a price on it. While you do not want to spend an unreasonable amount of money on something like this, you still might have to splurge a little extra. Look around and see what your options are. You might know someone that has a home blood pressure monitor. If so, ask them what they might recommend. They might recommend whatever device they are using now or tell you to steer clear of it. You want to choose one that is easy for you to use and read. Be sure you can understand how to operate it as well. The less confusing it is to use, the more beneficial it will be. Imagine how much better you are going to feel once you gain control of your blood pressure. It will be much simpler by monitoring from home as well as having regular checkups at your doctor visits. Lower blood pressure lessens your risks of a stroke or heart and kidney disease. This alone should make you feel much better.